Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. I did it! Holy shit. His head is the head of all, the, all ours. Oh my god! What's the square root of sex? What are you trying to write? You guys will hit it. Uh... <laughs> oh, ass? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I'm, 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 I'm boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Duke, and I'm playing the greatest game ever, because in, in this game, this game officially has... Wait, Jibzu, Jibzu, put on... <laughs> don't turn, turn your cameras upside down, everybody. turn your phones Wait, upside. Jibzu, write the name of the game. Write the name of the game. Write the name of the game. game. Write the name of the game. Name, name the game. Now turn it upside no. down. No. <laughs> His phone is still upside down. Now We're turn playing... it upside down. <laughs> We're playing 9... Now no, don't turn it upside down. <laughs> We're playing 999. Last time we had a lot of talking. <laughs> He's a fucking genius. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're right back into it. After last episode, oh yeah, last episode we just read him. <laughs> you play the game. He's the narrator. <laughs> yeah. Last time we we figured out that Snake has Braille written to him because oh I don't know he's blind. Did you know that Snake is blind? He's blind. I missed the part where the paper was Braille. So when <laughs> I saw him saying I'm gonna read it, I was like this fucking dumbass game. Can't say that too soon. <laughs> <laughs> this this guy this stupid game <laughs> this liar <laughs> this liar and now we can liar. we continue exactly where we left <laughs> off last time because we there's no issue in us stop, stopping and starting things when we are recording in a very story centric game <laughs> you always have the lines that make me laugh Jinsu like I forget what, it, what the context was I think it was maybe something along the lines of like she said she loved me liar <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you gotta do that. Yeah, yeah, you fucking... Uh, you roar it out. <laughs> Alright, is that what it was? Snake finished reading and carefully put the card to his pocket. The message had been lengthy, but its meaning was clear. Dai Kang. Only those who verified their numbers at the red could pass through the numbered doors. Oh yeah, there was a lot of red, dead, and redemptions last episode. <laughs> Man, we should have checked what the other numbers were uh, so that we could see if they could actually pass through the doors or not. Can you imagine just that one person just... Well, shit. <laughs> yeah, th yeah th there's one combo that doesn't actually work. Ace having to sit there just... Hmm, fine. Yeah. Teams could not increase or decrease their numbers. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforced the rules. They were judge, jury, and execution. Arbiters, if you will. This is Halo now. It just got suddenly <laughs> cuts in a clip we're doing, from Halo. We're, we're doing a fucking two-player campaign. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. In defiance of Duke's noises. <laughs> Halo. No, I know that you're excited. <laughs> in defiance of zero suggestions, both Santa and Seven put their fingers down to the throats and began to gag. The rest stiffened. Some touched their stomachs. Some simply stared at the bracelets. Oh, because the bombs are... They made the... The mastermind made them swallow bombs. And it clearly said that their bombs are in their... <laughs> the two idiots, yeah. <laughs> it said that the bomb is in their small intestine by now. So throwing up is useless. And here they are trying to do this. Junpei no. gingerly touched his stomach. There was a bomb inside his body. What you do is you force yourself to shit yourself. Yeah. If it's in your small intestine, make it f come out the other end. Yeah, it's like passing a kidney stone. What if it's <gasps> what if it's shaped the wrong way? Oh my god! For the first time, a, one of these survival things where I'm the one that's gonna make it out. Interesting. <laughs> I want to drink some water. Because yeah. <laughs> of stomach problems, <laughs> it's just constantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's just in the corner, guys. Guys, look! Watch if I break the rules. You just hear an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> you hear an explosion in the corner. <laughs> Zero did not account for the IBS. <laughs> of IBS. Of IBS. <laughs> there was a bomb inside his body. The thought of it made him queasy. Or cheesy. His stomach felt oddly hot. Or cheesy. And his legs were weak. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Every time. Why had Zero designed such a ludicrous game? 
Junpei looked over at the others. Are we still asking this question at this point? That's a good question. Unfortunately, that's how it's written. All right, Junpei. All right, I'm going to ask one more time. <laughs> Do any of you know anything about Zero? What's his name? They were all silent, silent, each person waiting to hear what the others would say. Finally, Santa spoke. Yes, that is Santa, everybody. Actually, I I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. He was big, fat, face, jolly. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. Uh, what the hell? Did the narrator just stutter? Come on, guys. Give me some. Give me that. You know, like, surprise or something. Surprise? Instead, it was Santa who looked surprised. There was a moment of silence, and everyone spoke at once. Saw the Christmas special. Yeah, I saw him. I saw Santa. I put out milk and cooties. Cookies. Me too. He was wearing well, a gas mask. Let me play any jigsaw games. Grandma got run <laughs> over by <a> tricycle. <laughs> As stories were sorted out, the truth became clear. All of their stories were the same. They had been abducted at home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had worn a mask. There had been white smoke, and then each person had passed out. When they awoke, they had found themselves on Dino. The only one with an inconsistent story was June, who said, I put on a mask and started kidnapping a bunch started of people. kidnapping people. <laughs> In a room with a three-level bunk bed, only seven stories seemed to lack the detail of the others. Ah! Uh, me? Yeah, well, uh, mine was just like the rest of yours. It was all he had said. Yeah. It occurred to Jupe at the time that sounded so much strange. And he didn't press the issue. He hadn't done so because there was something that struck him as even stranger. That was the mystery of the relationship between Snake and Toad. Oh my god. Come on. For some reason, they had been abducted from the same <coughs> and woken up in the same. Dying. But uh, it kind of makes sense. Like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make sure you see the right details, Duke. You gotta, like, it's gonna draw out the obvious. So sometimes you might miss out on, on something. You know? Didn't didn't Snake say he was a prince or something? That's what we described him as. Oh, like, right. Like, that's what he's dressed as. What he looks like he's dressed I'm ready. as. I'm ready. Junpei looked at them thoughtfully. What's the deal with you two, anyway? It was Clover that answered. Clearly, she felt as he had nothing to hide. Was she able to get Siblings? Thank hey, you, Jinzu, I'm ready. <laughs> he's gonna have Sudoku. Hey, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. I don't believe it. That's really so hard to understand. I Look don't at our similar colored hair. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah. Is it? <laughs> is there, is our hair similarly colored? Or is his hair gray? I don't believe you. <laughs> what color is no, his no, hair? She, she's like, she's like, she's very much specifically saying like that they're the same color. And he's like agreeing with her. And they're yeah. like, wait. Wait, but... it's not. <laughs> and he's like, shut up. <laughs> no, like, she goes, shut up. But I, I, I was I adopted to, from an African village. I I have to ask, what color is, what color is his hair? His hair? Yeah. It's well, like what a, is it? it's, no, no, it's, no no no. What you think it is? Gray. It, purple. It's no. It's, Shut it's, the fuck up. It is. It is gray. It is. It is gray. But it's like it's like the hue of her hair. Pink. Yeah, it's like they got her hair color and then they they like desaturated it. Oh, okay, okay. Junpei was taken aback. <laughs> Where could he get another spine at this hour of the night? The other seemed just as surprised. She is correct, of course. <laughs> he had laid his Don't hand worry, on... this time he was looking. <laughs> he laid his hand on Clover's shoulder. Are you surprised? surprised. We have the same hair. Oh. <laughs> Not him. Yeah, but... Why? There are, there are other people here with connections to one another. Yeah, I'm thinking the old man and the dancer. Those two, for instance. Snake pointed at Junpei and Drew. Huh? Oh, do you mean Junpei and me? Hey, wait. Ah, yes. You did say that you were childhood friends, didn't you? Dancer. You went to school together? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jun glanced at Junpei, uncomfortable with the sudden attention. Junpei felt somewhat nervous as well and tried to scratch his head as casually as possible. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking just tweaking out. Hey, you you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? 
No. Yeah, you're right. Hold on, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> the way I'm he, hungry. With the way he replaced oh. Santa. <laughs> Phased over him. I'm hungry. Chunpei, can I eat your mom? Mom, Jimmy, man. You can connect to Josh between the victims and that leads you to the perp textbook. Wow, I wonder if he's a cop. Stuff. Junpei, June, does any of this ring a bell? A bell? Ring a bell. Ring a bing. Ring a ling. Ring a ring. Ring a ring. Rosie. They looked a at one another. A pocket full of posies. What? Ashes, ashes. They all fall down. Junpei was the next person to lose his mind. <laughs> <laughs> and like it was staged, they both tilted their neck at the same time. Well, Junpei then perhaps, lost his mind. Well, perhaps he went to uh, to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A scar with the son of a multi-millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> a millionaire. Son. Son? Goku? <laughs> well, someone uh, bought this boat and set up all this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. They may have her seems... running off to nearest grandma to shake her ass. <laughs> God damn it. Let me out, please! <laughs> as though as though it's the work of the of an organization, not an individual. Zero is most likely, likely simply the representative of a larger group. Like the Z fighters. <laughs> like the X hunters. <laughs> My name is Sun Goten. Oh. I knew it. <laughs> Mountain. A short organization. I keep forgetting that's Mountain because seven. It could be. I don't like the nickname. Yeah. He's very blunt and stupid. Could it be a number of things? An army, perhaps? Or a research group? The best thing you could do is feign ignorance at the beginning of meeting strangers and who will potentially will be your death. So he's probably going to be a bigger character in the in the rest of the story. Yeah, <laughs> and you're gonna and he is gonna talk with that voice. Perhaps there's also some sort of psychological experiment. I'll practice Jimmy's mom with voice. literal death. <laughs> if it is, then it's pretty fucked up. It's a pretty fucked up experiment. Thank you, Santa. Ho ho ho. I mean, come on, a guy's dead. <clears throat> oh my god! But did anyone care? Wait, hold on. I'm now imagining a scenario where, like, imagining all the characters around us. And Santa just goes, yeah, call me Santa. Why is that? Because there's ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Pointing to the three girls. Jesus. <laughs> the word dead hung in the air, heavy and ominous. The room went quiet again, as we had a blood, as, as we had a shocking image of Chinese censorship. I'll call her white. <laughs> no, I'll do it. No. I'll do it. I'll make everything here white. <laughs> Even the white. You just made the screen white. <laughs> just made the screen and all white. I make everything white. I'll make the white black. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I don't know who the hell the zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gonna he's gonna be pretty fucked up in the head. To do, yeah, he's gotta be. If, <laughs> if this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issue. He touched me. What? <laughs> Mountain, <laughs> show us on this on the Santa doll where, where he did <laughs> Jigsaw violate you? Even with the show us on the Jigsaw doll. No. <laughs> Even with the specter of death hanging over them, their discussion continued for some time. In the end, however, nothing doll. seemed to matter. <laughs> In the end, it doesn't even matter. It is. Noon, midnight. Oh my god! By the time they were finished, 1.5 of their 9 hours were gone. All they had to show for it was impatience. Man, look, we only got seven and a half hours left, okay? Okay. You really sure you want to... You really sure you want to... Just sit around. <laughs> no, brain, no, brain, no. Brain, brain no. Brain no. Brain no. Fucking yep. crash. No one was willing to argue this time. Brain no, brain no. Very well then. <laughs> There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we got a Trump when Zero says. <clears throat> well, it's stupid to just sit around here and do nothing. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Thanks to Snake's card. Please, we have some idea. <laughs> Repeat it every time. Kill it. Snake. Fuck. 
Good. I'm reading it too. Like, in my head. <laughs> Correct. And so long as we follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. Most likely. Indeed. But what? I said what? What? In the butt? I said it. <laughs> Who's gonna go in which door? You Jesus. Look, you look towards the number two. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Whoa! Whoa! And it would seem we would have to split up. <laughs> oh, oh, wait! The fucking <laughs> dude has his mouse. He's cheating. He's using the mouse, which he isn't is showing up on the screen, himself. and he's he's literally hovering over her tits. No, I'm not. Oh, wait. Now he's hovering over Ace's tits. <laughs> Lotus looked terrified. <laughs> I'm telling you now, there's no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Hot. Tell him now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. Dinner. <laughs> Dinner. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. Dinner. Yeah, we were doing so well. He shook his head sadly. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. I ain't going there neither. I'd rather you kick my nuts in <clears throat> and throw me out the boat. And, like, pay me 50 bucks to do so. <laughs> <laughs> but as you say, birds <laughs> fly, fish swim, and, brother, the, the darkness, darkness is coming. <laughs> birds fly, fish swim, and, brother, the darkness is coming. <laughs> you gotta face your words, man. Sorry, Someone. but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Five? You can suck my dick. Oh, Santa, now you too. Hey, man, I'm walking over here. <laughs> I He's <need> evolving. Body <laughs> shoes. <laughs> body shoes. <laughs> Santa's evolving. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another <clears> thing <throat> coming. You got another thing coming. got another thing coming. <laughs> That was the last one. <laughs> the typo. What the hell, man? Great. What the hell? Where's the one who kept saying we should get it going? Yeah. Yeah. But so. it inconveniences you now, so. <laughs> Doesn't mean I want to go into door five. I need door five. Oh, God. It was an awkward silence. Oh, I thought they said on God. <laughs> <laughs> on God. Finally, seven spoke. Fine. Whoa. Oh, go into door five. What? I can't go in there alone, though. What? Anyone else willing to come with me? There was another <clears> long <throat> silence. This time, Snake was the one to bring it. I'll go. Oh. I can't see anything anyways. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. Oh. I'll just kill you now and then won't worry about it later. We <laughs> may be part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I'm faking being blind, of course. I mean, yeah. bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's not an answer. If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. It's an old one, sir, but it checks out. We're going We're... to die. <laughs> nay, nay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> There's nothing you have to do. <clears throat> you step four. If I join you, the problem solved, great. Seven is seven. Snake is two. If you want to add Clover's forward by one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one equals fourteen. One plus four equals five. Yay! What about the others? Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go in the door into five. Wait! What about the other four? What is our digital root going to be? Dude Page did the quick mental calculation. One. Two. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to figure out. Lotus, Santa, Dune, and Jupe remain. It was three. So, fuck. Never mind. The basic numbers <laughs> were 8365. Forgot five. the numbers. 8365. Eight, <clears> <gasps> Wait! That was one of the codes on the briefcase. I remember it because I was. I remember screaming it at Duke. <laughs> 8365. No, it was no, seven. Wasn't, that wasn't it. It was. 6385? 7, 4, 8, 3. Uh, no. That's not it at all. What? That was the that was the wrong one. Anyway, that's eleven plus. Read your. 
Eight three six five. What would their digital rule be? I want to know. There you go. Eight plus three is eleven. <laughs> plus six is seventeen. <sighs> plus five is twenty-two. So two plus two is four. Wow, Jinzu is smart man. Eight plus three plus six plus five plus twenty-two equals two plus two equals four. I was hoping to be wrong. Uh huh. He repeated what he determined. <clears throat> four. Add up our brain cell numbers, and the digital root is four. You can't multiply by zero, Duke. I'm the zero. Why <laughs> <laughs> would you do a four? Yeah, huh. That worked out well. Junpei ran over to I the team assignments in his head one more time. More people would go with the door. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Snake, <laughs> closer, covered eight. Duke proceeded to shoot himself. Round note. Ah! <laughs> Mayhem, I'm aiming for you. I'm aiming. Four people would go into door four. Notice Santa, June, and Junpei. Junpei had to ask himself if the teams were really what he wanted. Yes. Beyond door five was what remained of the ninth man. This is what I want. Do not have the mouse there. This is what I want. He never <laughs> wanted to see that thing again. But something in him said it would be, un be unwise not to examine the corpse even a little closer. Of course, if he went through door five, he wouldn't be able to go. He would be. He wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. True, it would be possible for him to bring June with him through door five, but that would mean she would have to see the horrific carnage that awaited them. Junpei didn't want. She sensed it. Junpei was torn. Should he stay silent and go through door four, or should he stop them all and insist on door five? As he turned his options over and over in his mind, he spoke up. All right then. It seems we reached a conclusion. There we go. He began to walk towards door five. Clover and Snake followed, with seven, a short distance from behind. Junpei, which door do you want to go through? I, th I think it's okay to keep going through door four. We don't want June to be like, ah, PTSD. Ah. You're giving me a very specific reason why to go through door five. Ah. Nah, no, 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 let's go see. through four. What do you think, Jesse? I vote four, he votes five. Cool thing I got Wait, but remote. more than more than four people can't go through a door. Everybody Basically, the way that he phrased it is that if we if we go through door five, it would just be a small change, and then June would have to go through us with us. Basically, like rearrange <clears throat> everybody again or keep it the same. Yeah, that's mm. basically what it is. Oh, fuck. Try say... guys, this bitch. Come what on. the fuck? We don't know that she's the villain yet. <laughs> I was kidding. Maybe. <laughs> I um, really want to traumatize her. I don't care if she is the villain. I just want to traumatize her. What this the is fuck, how... man? No, no. This is how Duke is with regular people. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it'd be really funny. Also, I want to see another dead body. It's the same dead body. It's not another dead body. It's the same dead body. Let's go through. Uh, who's to say I don't kill somebody? Four. Four! Uh... Decided that door four would be fine. Game sucks. <laughs> he would go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and Duke. Also, Why? it was partially I wanted to do like it even mentioned like it'd probably be important to check that body for like what the fuck happened for his watch yeah. for his watch yeah but it, and so we just didn't do that now but here's the thing is that maybe ace and seven are cool and would share information maybe we find out later they're dead oh <laughs> then we can check their body why did junpei even consider doing otherwise is he an idiot <laughs> he would be there for june for akane kurosai kurosiki that would seem that seemed good he felt it was the right choice to make. Of course, obviously, when you're going through the second time playing this game, you're going to want to go through door five, obviously. That's Wait, a... shit. No, actually, I did want to go through door five because I wanted to voice Mountain more. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on. Well, now, now I get you to have to voice Lotus. Lotus. <laughs> and you have to voice Junpei. yourself. Yeah, and yourself. Oh, no, 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 Get out. Quick shutdown. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he made no Quick shows. shutdown. <laughs> He made no shows of affection, but Junpei saw her as something more than just a friend from his child. <laughs> he watched the other four walk towards their door. Ace, Snake, Clover, and Seven. Oh, come back. Junpei said nothing as they left. Don't worry, I'm also heartbroken and not voicing Ace anymore. <laughs> I want to voice Snake too, it's funny. Before long, they had reached door five. Jinzu, you made the worst choice. You gave him the annoying voices only. Yeah. <laughs> they talked to one another for a few seconds, saying things Junpei couldn't hear. They laid their hands one by one on the scanner panel of the brain. Hey, seven, two, four, three, oh, nine, he, nine. Oh, 
A scrap the lever. His face grabbed tight with determination. He turned over the shoulder to look at Junpei and his companions. Goodbye. He explodes. Be careful. The cat off. The chunk. The open. The same animation. <laughs> As Ace pulled the lever, the door swung open. The mouth of the great hungry beast. Beyond the door, Junpei knew, lay the sad remains of the nightmare. I mean, you, it, you could look now while it's open. No. It did not surprise him that Ace, Clover, and Seven hesitated. The body was not a pleasant thing. The entire point is that we wanted to check that watch, and we can't. Snake had no such problems, as his blindness made him immune to the horror. They never mentioned looking at the watch. He mentioned just looking at the body. You're looking... There were so many clues. I feel like so Jimsu just spoiled something. <laughs> what? If you said you that they do? didn't mention looking at the watch, they just mentioned looking at the body. Why would the watch be important, Jimsu? Mm hmm? Why would the watch be important? Mm hmm? After the person is dead? Hey! He stepped you... forward the door, his feet making a wet splat in the pool of blood. Do you intend to kill me? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Snake had not even bothered to turn around, but the other three steeled themselves and stepped through the door. <laughs> oh, wait, shit, fuck! <laughs> door five swung shut posing with the heavy finality of metal upon metal. Junpei and his companion scrambled to the door. They pressed their ears to it in an attempt to hear what might be taking place on the other side. At the end of this game, we find out that it was a math teacher the entire time. Probably. It was okay. Junpei's math teacher. Mm. No, Jinsu, it was yours. It's beeping. It's beeping. <laughs> it's just like before. Before? Probably the sound of the date on the bracelet. <laughs> June's face showed her concern more plainly than her words ever could. Almost as though she was a little kid. In response to her <laughs> question, a voice rang out from the other side of the door. It was Seven. Hey, there it is! That's gotta be a dead thing! Come on, get over here! We gotta authenticate! Authenticate! <laughs> <laughs> the beeping stopped. The sighs of release, relief were audible even through the heavy door. Ahmed, the dead seven. Phew, looks like it stopped. I feel like we doing this made these people safe and the ones that we go with not safe. <laughs> <laughs> Junpei and his companions leaned away from the door and breathed a collective sigh of relief on their own. Hey guys, are you doing all right over there? They'd heard seven's voice, but it wouldn't be hurt. But it wouldn't hurt to be sure. Yep, we're fine. Despite the recent danger, Clover's voice was as bubbly as ever. Oh, hey! I'm gonna tell you about the whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color's different. You know how the red was red, but the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Shit, wait, now I actually have to thank you. You actually did get rid of his uh, stupid voice. <laughs> Authenticating is the same, too. Awesome, thanks. That helps a lot. I never have to hear her again. Thank the Lord. <laughs> well, we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. <laughs> this game has multiple endings, by the way. Hell I feel yeah. like I should Hell mention yeah. it. There ain't no way. Hell yeah. Which Which means... Your... We could fuck it up. <laughs> We're gonna do the again and the again. I hope we get the bad ending. And the game. We should get the bad ending. We should react afterwards when we finish it. We should react to all of the other endings to see what they are. No, let's just play through all of them. Oh, that's a good idea. Because there's good or bad choices within the other endings. Leave too. a comment down below. <laughs> Junpei and the others left door five and headed towards door four. They stood in front of the red and placed each of their hands upon it. Five, eight, three, eight, six. Four asterisks appeared on the screen. Junpei grabbed the lever and turned around. You guys ready? You ready to rock? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. None of them looked particularly optimistic, but their faces... Who were... scratched off my one? It's supposed to be a 14. <laughs> Junpei nodded to them and turned towards the red. All right. Let's go. Let's go. 
With the strength and determination, he pulled the lever. It didn't open. All their bombs proceeded to blow up and they died. Yeah. Apparently, Zero can't do math. Run! <laughs> <laughs> the four of them let through the door together. Ooh. The moment they had passed through it, each heard a cold electronic sound coming from their left wrist. In the center of each bracelet, a red skull appeared and began to flash. The detonator's countdown had begun. In the long moment that each of them spent staring at their wrists, the bombs exploded. <laughs> Just every single thing that they do wrong just makes the bomb explode. The number door behind them closed, and the sound of metal on metal reverberating down the hallway. It was hot. There was no way back now. They were committed. If they could not find the device to de deactivate their detonators... Hey, where the hell is the dead? <laughs> How would I know? How would I know? Don't give me that crap! <laughs> Stop looking! <laughs> I already am! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. That's That was just for us, everybody. I'm sorry, oh but the, what Duke did with the mouse, already am, began to look... Uh, they began to run, eyes looking frantically for the device that was the key to their salvation. No, bring back! <laughs> the hallway they found themselves running down was along easily 300 feet in length. That's a lot of feet. <sighs> On the right side of the studio, you see the wooden door, all nearly identical. If they had taken time to think, they would have likely discerned that the doors led together. Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh, no! How many rooms do you think there are? Dupe was too frightened to count properly, but his best guess was there, there were seven or eight. Oh, fuck! <laughs> there wasn't time to count them to be sure. Dupe ran to the nearest door. Okay, here. Let me go ahead and save Scum. <laughs> save Scum and bitch. He grabbed the knob and shook it. Shook it off. Come on. It wouldn't open. It didn't feel locked. More like someone had hammered the iron plate over the other side of the door. Junpei turned around to find another door and saw that his companions had already run to the doors of their own. They did not seem to have any more success than he had. Their own words confirmed his fears. Shit. This one's no good. Fuck. Same. He's not moving. June was the last to speak up. As Junpei looked in her direction, his eyes caught something he hadn't noticed before. A small red light. It flashed at him, dimly, from the end of the hallway. It, the small red light revealed his coat to him. <laughs> it flashed him. That's it. It's over there. <laughs> Even as he yelled, he ran. He grabbed Santa, Lotus, and Druid and pulled them toward the light. You know, with all three of the hands he has. Santa called out to them as he ran. Hey, how many more seconds do we have? No how time. many more seconds do we... <laughs> how would I know? <laughs> My time limit is 81 seconds. I don't notice her until that's on screen. <laughs> until I'm dead. I know that, goddammit. Then they'll put the no phone. phone. No phone. But I'm looking at funny stuff. No. Like... Also, Jinzo, we're trying to create our own funny stuff. I know that, right? goddammit. <laughs> Do I miss me three hours? <laughs> I'm asking you how many seconds we have left. What if it's right? In all likelihood, Junpei figured, figured nearly a minute had already passed since the door had closed behind them. That was true. They're oh, fucked. Beautiful. Urgency foremost in all of their minds as they arrived at the end of the hallway. The dead sat in the left wall, thinking almost talking to the other. Hurry! Junpei grabbed hold of the machine. His hands slick with sweat and shaking. Five. He slammed his hand against the scanner panel. The other three quickly followed suit. Uh, the last one explodes. <laughs> <laughs> with a grunt, Santa yanked the lever downward. Yank. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Phew, looks like the. Looks like the... Get out! Oh, Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! His hands began to steady. Junpei wiping away some of the sweat he had beheaded, that had beaded his forehead. That had beheaded his forehead. As they caught their breath, the four companions began to look around. Uh huh. I wanted other ones. At the end of the hallway lay a heavy-looking set of double doors. 
cut into the walls of the hallway that either side of the larger door were two smaller ones. They all needed inspecting, but Junpei began with the largest of the two. The double doors. Double D doors? How many times have you come across similar doors with similar results, he wondered. Or perhaps he corrected himself more than a lack of results. Whatever the reason, the door remained firm and unmuted, and refused to allow Junpei or anyone else past it. Near the handle was a small keyhole. It's just the same size as Junpei's dick. Above the keyhole was a small symbol engraved with brass. The male symbol, also known as the key. I knew it! Bang! 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 <laughs> You're bang on the door. Male? Male! He wasn't quite sure what to make of it, and stared at it for a moment in confusion. It was June that corrected him. You know, this is not the symbol for male. That's probably the symbol of Mars. But technically, they're the same symbol. I saw a number of symbols, symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. The sun. Saturn. Yes, we remember. Earth. At least what, that's what I'm assuming. So it isn't the main symbol, it's a symbol for Mars? Mars? Is that a symbol for man's? I think so. What's wrong with you? Well, June and... While Junpei and Junpei... You sure this won't work? Bang, bang, bang! Right into my heart. Santa had disappeared. Just like, we'll have to wait another Christmas for him to come around again, bearing gifts. <laughs> they turned to find him with some distance down the hallway. He had gone to check the other doors. Eventually, he reached the last of them and jogged back. It took him only a moment to catch his breath. Here's the deal. None of the other doors opened. The Christmas will be cancelled! <laughs> <laughs> then that was me. I. We only have two more doors. Oh, nah. Lotus examined the doors on either side of the larger double door. And double D. Jun Junpei was engrossed by Lotus's double D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Each one had a metal plate attached to it. Junpei figured there were probably room numbers. B92 and B93. The doors on the left read B92. Oh, no way. And the door on the right proclaims that... <laughs> what Ain't no fucking way. <laughs> All right, let's open them. Bitch, oh, what is I click. <laughs> Junpei had put I his... am the click. I'm the, I am the one who clicks. <laughs> Junpei had put his hand on the door knob for the door that said room 92. Santa moved to the door to room 93. They made it through the numbered door alive. There was nothing more to be afraid of. Junpei and Santa looked at each other and nodded. One. Two. Three. In unison, they pushed against their respective doors. And probably found themselves in a new room! Jun followed Junpei as he threw open his door. No way! They turned around and saw that the door on the other side had opened as well. Wow, look no at all way. these people. Through the door was another person, his mouth agape. Through the door was another person, his mouth agape. It was Santa. Yeah, no shit. Hey, uh. It opened. Hey, uh. Yeah. yeah. No shit. Junpei and Santa looked at each other. They had not expected the doors to yield so easily. Lotus's calm voice broke into, into their thoughts. I think we're... <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are was spontaneously exploding? Because it's Maybe hilarious. This all... Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Oh, wow. It's like Spongebob. <laughs> Hell yeah. I can't say I enjoy being treated like everyone's someone's puppet. Maybe someone's eye candy, but maybe not someone's puppet. Because that means I have to do something. <laughs> As she headed oh. Oh yeah, I accidentally pressed pause. Er, what? As she hit Oh No We can go back We can investigate dialogue <laughs> As she headed to room ninety three, Lotus continued. Well now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that'll help us. Uh -huh. Get out of here. Uh -huh. It's fun out. <laughs> oh such a wrong. Actually, say the words. So, touch the other one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Oh. The more you make fun of it, the more I will slur it. <laughs> hey, June, closes the door. Oh, no. Whoa! Oh, no! Yeah! We're back! Seek a way out! This is actually a, a, an episode where things happen. Gameplay! I'm so wow. curious what you 40 minutes know. in! <laughs> yeah! Let's okay. See. All right. I want to check this. The 
fuck Why are am you? I hearing the bleach hollow sound and song? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I can't bleach. hear it. It's like a. That's not the bleach song. Not at all. <laughs> but no, I just imagine now the actual like uh, uh, song playing, which is like the spiritual pressure song, just uh, that fucking screechy do 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 do. But like, just listen for a second. Jinju, phone down. Phone down. Yes. Phone no. Phone no. Phone no. So I've got a weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? Maybe it's upside down. It looks like I'm like a demon with an elfin like nose. Don't, Duke, Duke, you're gonna hurt yourself, Duke, Duke. You said it. Duke, it's gonna hurt. You're gonna hurt yourself. It's a guy going. Around. That's Al Capone. <laughs> you see, you see the, you see the. It looks like a bearded guy, upside down. This dude's Naruto running. Like if you see like the. No, 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 you, no you see, you see like the. <laughs> imagine those are two hands, right? With this treasure. It's <laughs> 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 a day. With an elephant like nose. Uh huh. Sucking on a human being's brain. This bitch has the wildest imagination. Where the hell did that come from? What the fuck? What's her brain made of? It's a mind fucking going on there. Junpei, you freak! <laughs> kind of weird looking picture. It's some sort of weird black and white design. Looks like there's a room on the right side of the picture. Okay. Nothing okay. here yet. We, don't know, we can't interact anymore. Go to the face! <laughs> Go that way. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a do I hate it. That's the bathroom wall. Are you stupid? There's square tiles all over it. I wonder mm. if this is a pattern. Why is oh, there a blue? Tiles? Oh, okay, there, there, there's there. 17 squares. <laughs> there's a little blue platform protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. What'd you call me? So we're putting soap on. I used a shower once, so I know. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a shower head. There's nothing special about it. No head. It's a shower sure. knob. Let's see if anything happens when we jump in. No water's coming out. Damn it. So I we... told you I shower. If we, <laughs> if the water worked, I would have suggested we take a shower together, but I guess not. Chubby, do you think there might be something on the shower curtain? I wish she wasn't here. Hmm. Well, maybe. If I fucking check it. You want to try closing it? Uh, yeah, no shit. It's a scary face. Ah! Look at that scary face. There doesn't Does... seem to be anything here. Y y let me look at the other side. <laughs> no, there's nothing else here. Turn! Turn! Turn, man, to the right! Wow. Now <laughs> close the now close the things. The toilet. That's a toilet. That's a toilet. There's nothing there. The tank's empty too. There isn't even any water. <laughs> Try uh, that. I yeah, understand. Now I understand. Yeah. I understand. No. You thought that you were smarter. I do that. I mean, there's no one he's used it in a long time. Now that we're both in the shower together, I guess. <laughs> Bang, bang, bang. Ag Dolls, waterproof, waterproof glory. Nothing. Suspicious. Just like a normal old shower here. Narrow shower. I'm standing in with June. <laughs> this is awkward. Time to open the curtain. But look at that blotch. Collection full of partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Someone which well prepared. Nothing too suspicious about it. No. All right. Let's get out of here. Out of the bathroom. Out of the bathroom. I'm being as careful as possible. Out of the bathroom. Get out of the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we go back to the living room? Okay. What were you guys doing in the bathroom for 20 minutes? For 10 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take that long. And then that door. At the base. No. That vase looks like obsession. I wonder how much we can get for it. You gonna steal it? <laughs> turn, man, turn. No. Turn, man, turn. Jubby, where are you going? We're looking at a door. Do you think you can maybe look around here a little bit more? There's lots for me to do while you're by myself. Oh. What does that mean? Turn, man, turn. There's the rest of the room. Uh. Chubby, what are you doing? Looking at a couch. We don't have time to be relaxing on the sofa. Die. 
Display case. There's nothing being displayed. How sad. How sad. Jensen, what are you doing? They bought. I'll eat your phone. They got fucking carbon. I'll eat it. Carbon. And candy. you know I could. <laughs> if there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> it's like the drawers are empty too. What's the thing on table? Oh. You didn't click on it, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a painting. It is a map. It looks like a map of the ship's interior. Nice. Great find. It will be really useful. Let's take it with us. It's now no. possible to use the map screen. Yeah. My dialogue! Map screen. Actually, Wait, no. He reads piss. Piss. Yeah. Piss. Map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during the story sections. It is entirely different in function from the bird's eye view mode. Uh -huh. By the way. While on the map screen, you can examine a map of the ship's floor plan, which you will, you will. acquire over the course of the story. Touch down menu to open the menu. The menu button opens the menu. <laughs> if you touch the map button while in the menu, you will be taken to the map screen. While there, you can scroll around the floor plan with control pan or the stylus. Touching the green parts of the floor plan will allow you to see the bird's eye view for that room. Okay. Or uh, there it is. I Jubei, get it. Jubei took one last look at the map, then you. folded it up and slid it back into his pocket. June looked up as he closed it. This ship's bigger than I thought. I get it. Yeah, it's probably about nine hundred feet long. It's about like twenty feet. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships, also known as the Titanic. It's about three miles, you think? Three miles. Three miles. Yeah, three miles. Three miles. Or it doesn't look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. It's not retro. That means it's from the 70s. Even if it's some sort of, sort of style choice, there's just too much. Do you remember what Zero said? Oh. I got lotion up. <laughs> <laughs> the Titanic. Go ahead, read it. The Titanic. It's been weeks since we actually I read it last time. It's the information of the Titanic. Everyone knows the information of the Titanic. It's almost like there's information that could be there that we might need. <laughs> Who knows? About the Titanic. It's literally him just going, it took this long to finish the Titanic. Now, it took this long to finish the movie. So now, it'll take nine hours. <laughs> do you think that maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? I don't know, maybe it's sinking. Oh! That's a good point, I guess. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there was a reason. It wasn't a reason. Junpei looked in moments around the room. <laughs> the actual Titanic. <laughs> No, it's a replica. No, no. I really want to no. click that. Then she's going to call you stupid. No! <laughs> <laughs> the actual Titanic? The actual Titanic? You mean like, slipped through time and ended up here? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Before the ship sunk on April 14th, 1912? Yeah, absolutely. Huh? The hell are you smoking? Huh? Can I get a ride? You'd pay grid and shook his head. No, no, that's not. I mean, come on, slip through time. Seriously, I was talking about the controversy. No, no controversy. <laughs> what do you mean? Please tell me. Haven't you heard of oh, it? Oh, don't you know? It's pretty famous, you know. The Titanic had a sis. No. Yes! <laughs> No! This is a conspiracy theory that I gave you guys! <laughs> yeah, it had a sister ship that was essentially identical. Oh my god! It was called the Olympic! Yes! Oh! Yes, I heard of that! No! If I remember correctly, the Olympic was a ship that had a lot of problems. Yeah, the whole idea that it had a lot of problems, and like, there was even a whole thing of there were rumors of this one guy who uh, had seen the Titanic I was, I was being built, and he happened to see that the the word Olympic was on it. Yep. And then the company that owned it didn't know how to get rid of it, right? Yeah. So they made the Olympic up to look just like the brand new Titanic. I can't believe this game is sharing this weird-ass conspiracy theory. And they sunk it on purpose. Yeah. They also took out a huge insurance policy on it before it set sail. A life insurance policy? They didn't get any money because it's a boat. <laughs> that would mean that the real Titanic never sank. Yeah, the ships got swapped. 
The real Titanic was renamed the Olympia in secret and That's was not used the word. as a Olympic <laughs> in secret and was used as a passenger ship for more than 20 years. Hey, wait a minute. Wouldn't that mean it's retired in 1935? Huh? Yeah, I guess something around that. Yeah. What happened to it after that? I heard it was dismantled. Dismantled? It doesn't matter, does it? Whichever boat the real Titanic was, it doesn't exist anymore. It was either retired and dismantled or sunk the Atlantic by the curse. And then that would mean that the ship is... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? Huh? Sank in the Atlantic because of what? Rose. <laughs> the girl in the Titanic. It's all her fault. The curse. What do you mean, curse? Wait, wait. The curse is a curse. This one is the curse of the Egyptian mummy. Jude Pig couldn't understand how Jude had maintained a straight face to say that. This bitch is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the Princess Amun Ra. Priestess Amun Ra. Which was stolen from a pyramid. Wasn't it going the from America curse. to England? And that's when they say that the mummy had a history. No, no, no. Reverse that. It went from England to America? Ah, oh, okay. I didn't know. What? That... I did watch the movie! Which only happened in the movie. <laughs> the boat never actually sunk. Was it America to England or was it England to America? I don't care. <laughs> I don't know, and I also don't care. Don't look at that. Let's continue the story. Okay. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Haven't you heard that? What? No. Oh my God, my childhood crush is stupid. So you're saying that Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right. June's eyes had lit up with excitement, like a child with a new toy. I found a new idiot to corrupt. <laughs> That's stupid. I don't buy it. Duke, I need you to not click while you're not looking. Either look up the thing right now and get it over with, or put your phone away. You both are on your phone! No, I'm not. You're no, no, both no. on your phone! No, I'm not. Uh... Yeah, it was England to New York. England to New York, okay. Yeah. Wasn't there a picture that showed, like, an iceberg with a very peculiar-looking shape and also red paint on it that they found? They found the iceberg that rammed into the boat, like, the day after, and someone was like, oh, that's weird, and they took a picture of it. Huh. Who knows? Yeah. It's true! Is this just a conspiracy episode? What the fuck? Yeah. How can you be so sure? This is the evolution of the conspiracy cow. That mummy wasn't just a normal mummy. It was a mummy. <laughs> it was really mysterious. Totally unbelievable. What is so unbelievable about it? People died. Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. She what? Was she was considered a MILF in ancient times. <laughs> yes. At the age of 24. Well, she was a mummy. That's right. A mummy I'd like to f <laughs> <laughs> She wasn't all shivered up or rotten or anything. She looked just like she was alive. So 82 years old. Oh, okay, I get it. It's that thing, I don't remember the name, where your body turns into some kind of wax. If a dead body is put in the right sort of environment, the fat in it turns something kind of like candle wax, right? And... The fuck are we talking about? Saponification. Yes. Sap I should not Sap have joked. Saponification. 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 But that's not all what it would. Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what? Funkable. I mean, they say that she was frozen. What? What? And the Martians had had a ransom in Roswell. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, she was more than 60% hot. Well, then all that water was frozen. God damn it. The story says that the, that from the time of this discovery all the way through to when it 
got put on the Titanic. He went through and was carried through the desert. Her body never melted. Like some ice cream. Man, I want a liquor. Whoa. <laughs> June and June. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you don't say whoa about the 30 times he said he wanted to fuck her. <laughs> if she's still alive. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But he said it with like a goofy tone. This time he said it with like a very. Uh, it's very. He said it with intense. Which one was more. <laughs> with an no, assaulting don't, tone. <laughs> stop clicking. Well, we're just uh, talking. I didn't read anything yet, and you already uh, clicked. June and Junpei talked a little more about, and June continued to say more and more heinous shit. They went back to their investigation, but even as they did, his mind went back to what she told him. Saponification! <laughs> Saponification! Ice that wouldn't melt, even in the desert. Could such a thing really exist? It's called never melt ice. It's... <laughs> Get up and dig the sheet. She's like, she, in his head, she's like, she's like slowly saying saponification. And he's like, she's, she's so hot. She's so hot. She's so hot. Saponification. <laughs> Such as they really exist. It's, it's called Never Melt Ice. It boosts ice type moves and it's used in Pokemon. No. Even if she, even if it did, it wouldn't be in be ice anymore, would it? No. The more he thought about it, the more his head hurt. He thought too hard, like he'd eaten his ice cream too fast. His favorite ice cream was Rocky Road. Check the bed! 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 Check the fucking bed! Last time it was under the pillows. What kind of a bed frame is this? Bed. Two pillows right next to each other. <laughs> Guess it's a double. You Chicken silence sandwich. your mouth, June. What do you want? You're turning red. You're still what, is your fever back? You all right? Do you need to lay down for a minute? Get the fuck out of my face! Heaven! I think it's still a little early for that. What? <laughs> Seriously, are you okay? I, it's still a little early for that. You're still alive! Two pillows, <laughs> nothing there. Like, blanket with some designs on it. Someone's made the bed or at least never unmade it. Only bed sheets under the blanket. Nothing exciting. Oh, come on. A bed frame! No shit, Sherlock. Now we don't have to worry about Fana. I just just enjoy where I sleep. The demons of my past. She's blushing again. <laughs> the hell is she thinking about? Wow. Get the How fuck away from this. How horny is this woman? Not enough. <laughs> just checking if there was anything that, else that, that you kind noticed. Of a light. A light. Oh, sorry. Even if it's heavy. Oh fuck you. That's light. <laughs> Click that thing! Cut that the cabinet! Just check in. Under the bed. A wooden cupboard. There are cups inside. Surprising, no. That thing. It's a bottle with water in it. This is a bedroom. They probably have it here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up. You know? My throat's dry, but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. Well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy! Did you want to take a shower together? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> 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 Just keep shower doesn't work. Too late to take it back. Brain's already working out the picture. Bro, it was dry already. This sure isn't helping. It just flashes to her, like him just like putting water in his mouth and like spraying it out at her. <laughs> <laughs> Under the bed. No. 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 So we gotta go buy it. Oh. <laughs> what's, that? what's this? I was trying to click that, but okay. Chair to That's the bag. Chair that goes with the dresser. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. What? Who are you to say? What are you? That's just a. What are you? That's a light. Thanks to it, we could see. Hell yeah! Now check the obvious thing. Like, ooh. Just a mirror for the dresser. Yeah, no shit. Now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realize she's doing that? Hey, we don't have time for that. Come on, it's not like there's anyone here to you need to impress. Yes, there is. Oh. Why the is ghost it quiet all of a sudden? The ghost that's always following me and looking over my shoulder. I see him now. Forget it, Jumpy. Maybe the one that you offered to jump in the shower with? It's a dresser. There's nothing on top. Whoa, key. Oh mm. my god! Dresser key. It took 
Why am I having deja vu? to get this. Hell yeah. All right. Because once we're done, we're going to spend another hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. It's like we Nothing done in the this. dust lake case. What about that thing on the table? Doors are empty too. Thing on the table. Just <laughs> leave. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Matches. Matches. Woo. I'm going to light a fire. Hell yeah. Sir, 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 yeah. Combine. With the key. <laughs> Melt it. <laughs> Burn the ship down. Junpei looked down blankly at what he was holding, then up at Jun. I could light you on fire. Oh, yeah. How's your fever? You feeling better now? Are you feeling hot? He lights the matches and starts throwing them at her. <laughs> yes. I'm feeling fine. Oh, he's like throwing them at them like when you make money rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jun certainly. No, like super fast. <laughs> yeah. Certainly looked fine. Junpei held out his hand on her forehead for a few seconds. Seemed to feel the fever really had gone down, and then it got and red the, again. The only, the only prescription, more cowbell. Are you, are you worried about me? No. Yeah, I guess I am. Hey, come on, it's not like that. <laughs> what do you, you want? Probably say? tell me more conspiracy theories. <laughs> yeah, she's my kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dating Lola Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> From the 2000... Who talks like 10-ish. Well, what fucking year did that, that... I think it was 8 or 10. Are yeah. you talking about Space Jam? The Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes. No, the Looney Tunes Not show. Not Space Jam. She's smart. Lola Bunny's smart in Space Jam. But, but she's it... hot in Space Jam. Okay, yeah, okay. she's smart and hot. We're this one is dumb the, and funny. The modern, the modern Lo Looney Tunes show. Oh, yeah, that and was she, like 2015. And she's an airhead. Yeah. Giggle. I just like the... But here's you're dating this girl who's a Lola Bunny idiot, but with my voice. <laughs> <laughs> and she's an idiot. <laughs> That's like double the idiot. No. <laughs> the moment you say that, just nope. I'm done. We're at it. <laughs> I'm not playing a dating simulator where I have to date mayhem. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm scared of the idea that Sand would listen up to this part and then actually consider making it. <laughs> no. June blushed and giggled. Uh huh. By the way, Jumpy. What? How did you end up here? Uh, what do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? Huh. Kidnapping. You know, thinking back about it. What? What are you doing? You found oh. a fucker? You need some white smoke and passed out. How'd you get trapped here? He got me. He lured me with candy. <laughs> he lured me in by telling he knows where to find the mummy. Well, how did you get here? <laughs> well, I found this dumb dude with black hair. He looked like a loser. And I went ahead and filled his room with white smoke. <laughs> now that I think about it, you're the same height as Zero when he kidnapped me. Um, dead man. It pulls out his fucking shit. And At you the very end, everyone's alive, and it was just a proposal. Yeah, <laughs> It's all just a complicated proposal. When you woke up, you were on D-Day. This is my family! <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> is that really the truth? Yeah. Joby, are you hiding something from me? Yeah. Why would I? Well, when you think about it, it's awfully suspicious. I mean, why would you, our childhood friends, bump into each other in a place like this? Yes, I kidnapped you. Are you hiding? Say the read his fucking mind. <laughs> Are you hiding something, Lassie? Lassie. It's too oh, funny yeah. the idea that she's not even listening to what he's saying. You know what's also funny? You saying the fucking lines. No. <laughs> why would I hide? I don't know anything. I mean... You're hiding it. How would I know? Also, I just realized last second that the line you were telling me to read was it was mine. I I thought that it was on June for remember, some reason. Remember, June's name is on the left. Jupe talks. He's on the right. The Titanic killed me. <laughs> you mean like I can't tell left and right right now. Wait, <laughs> I'm frozen. Nothing is right. The every, yeah, nothing is right. Nothing is left. Nothing is right. Everything's wrong. You mean like the number of men I dated? <laughs> Junpei's heart stumbled over itself. You want to know? <laughs> he had to admit he was a little curious. Don't worry. She smiled at him. Only 18. Damn! <laughs> Time zero. <laughs> what is this fucking seventh grade fucking flirting math bullshit? 
that means she dated one guy. 18 times zero? Oh, Are you an idiot? I'm tired. Brain no. <laughs> Brain no. Wait. 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 I just thought of something. One plus eight plus zero equals nine. She dated all the people in this room. No. <laughs> and with that revelation, thank you everybody so much for watching. Ah, uh, you. No. <laughs> I guess you haven't. Just a little I, bit more. Yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Red yet. June looked a little embarrassed, scratched the back of her head in a desperate attempt to seem nonchalant. We gotta finish this conversation. Junpei coughed quietly in much the same way. Uh-huh. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Just like you, Jumpy. Right. <laughs> 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 when I woke up, I was on TD. Oh, you I... were on someone's deck? I'd like to get you up on your D deck. Well, you have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. June nodded, and for a few moments she had the faraway look of someone in deep thought. Oh, that was the last time I saw you, according to your lore. Look for what's connected to, connects to victims. That would lead you to the culprit. Yo. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah, but he's dead. What? But that's what I'm saying. I think it must have something to do with our classmate of ours. Any idea who it might be? No, 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 no. Oh. No, no, no. Well, if she had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers or maybe the principal or the janitor. Oh, you mean like Principal 9? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, principal 999? Nine, nine, nine. Or the janitor or the lunch lady. No, I that one lunch lady who really liked numbers. I can barely remember any, you know. I know. Junpei went back to searching, feeling unpleasant and confused. I would also feel confused at this point. Elementary school. Elementary school. There was anything strange <laughs> about what had happened in elementary school. As he searched the room, he continued to whack his brain. It's elementary, uh... my dear Watson. And we'll fi be figuring out what happens. It's round wooden yeah. table. We'll be figuring out what happens next time. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs> anything to add, Jinsu? As you've literally not had to say anything for the past 20 minutes? The answer to this puzzle no. is elementary, my dear Mayhem. What if it was the Olympic? Sherlock Holmes, Griffin. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Sherlock Holmes is on the boat! Yeah, I am. Zero. Yeah. I am not kidding yeah. how bad that killed me hearing the fucking conspiracy theory of the Titanic. I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in hate. I'm in hate with the conspiracy. Conspiracy.